Zoids lore time, organoids. So last time we went over the different types of zoids, wild zoids, combat zoids, stray zoids, and block zoids. But some of you have been asking, where do organoids fit into this? So as far as we know, organoids are a strange species of wild zoid, most of which appeared in the first zoids anime, Zoids Chaotic Century, starting in 1999. And by the way, spoilers for those who have not seen the anime yet. I believe we've had five canonical organoids so far, the first appearing in Zoids Chaotic Century, those being Zeke, Shadow, Specula, and Ambient. Now, what makes an organoid different from a regular wild zoid, aside from being very small compared to other zoids, is that organoids have a few unique abilities. Their first and most prominent ability, as shown here, is to be able to fuse with a much larger zoid, specifically the zoid core, in order to draw out a zoid's full potential. By fusing with the zoid core, it essentially improves the zoid's health, durability, handling, all that fun stuff. So organoids are essentially RPG-style stat boosts in adorable friend shape. As you can imagine, this would make them very, very valuable, and many different factions would be on the hunt for something like this. Now, the second ability that organoids have is being able to evolve zoids. And by that, I don't mean traditional evolution, where populations slowly evolve into something else, but rather a more Pokemon style of evolution, where one organism is transformed into a different kind. This was shown off with Van's Shield Liger becoming a Blade Liger and Raven's Genosaur becoming a Geno Breaker, both after spending a few days in a big cocoon of light. Zoid evolution of this kind is very uncommon, but it did also happen in the sixth Zoids anime, Zoids Wild Zero. In this case, Leo Conrad's Wild Liger, later nicknamed the Proto Beast Liger, evolved into a Beast Liger, and then later in the series evolved once again into Rising Liger. But in this case, this was actually not the result of organoids, but rather advanced technology from Planet Z, as well as a little bit of help from an adorable anime girl with colorful hair. And the last ability that organoids have is essentially data storage. You see, organoids are most often found in stasis pods in ancient ruins alongside a near-extinct race called Ancient Zoidians. Ancient Zoidians essentially came face-to-face -face with an apocalyptic situation, so they put some of their population in stasis. And they partnered these Ancient Zoidians in stasis with organoids. The idea being that not only would the organoid protect the Zoidian, but the organoid would also hold on to the stored memories of the Zoidian. Thus, when they woke up, they're supposed to fuse together and restore the Zoidian's memory. As you can imagine, things didn't quite go to plan, which led to quite a few problems in the Zoid Chaotic Century, but it all worked itself out in the end. Now, aside from the four organoids that appeared in Zoid's Chaotic Century, there is one more, that being Pulse. is a feline-type organoid that appeared in Zoid's Legacy for the Game Boy Advance. Pulse is rather interesting, as not only is he a feline type, which is much different than the previous four organoids, but depending on how you interact with different characters in Zoid's Legacy, his color will change, thus affecting the different stat boosts he will give you. And lastly, before we go, we have to talk about the second anime, Zoid's New Century Zero. Again, spoilers. So, in the second Zoid's anime, Zoid's New Century Zero, organoids are nowhere to be found. However, Bits Liger Zero is said to have an organoid system installed in it. We were then greeted with this image upon scanning Bits Liger Zero, which has led to so many fan theories and so many fan fictions, believing this to be some kind of permanently bonded organoid to the Zoid Core. However, in my opinion, due to the discrepancy in the size of the head compared to the Zoid Core, and the fact that the term organoid system has been used in previous lore, leads me to think that this is actually a reference to older lore, rather than a permanently bonded organoid. The organoid system in the battle story lore refers to a system that was installed in Zoids like Geno Breaker and Gojulus the Ogre. It was a system designed to keep the Zoid core agitated and violent in order to draw out its full potential, which is I think what this uh, New Century Zero organoid system is referencing, rather than the organoids from Zoids Chaotic Century. But as Zoids New Century Zero was only 26 episodes long, it was never really elaborated upon. We don't know the full implications of this system, who made it, or why. We also don't even know if Bits Liger Zero is the only Liger Zero, or if it's somehow a special Liger Zero. It was never really elaborated upon. We really could have used a second season. But yeah, I think that about covers it. Zoids are strange wild zoids with unique abilities that appeared mostly in Chaotic Century, but also popped up in a couple of games.